John T for the Boxing Voice. I'm Danny Edge, Jim in Romford, and I'm delighted to be joined by O'Hara Davis. How are you, O'Hara? I'm good. Back in the gym, as you can see. Um, had a few weeks off after my last fight, but it's been a long time coming now, so um, should be getting a fight date soon, within the next few days or weeks, I hope, and um, start camp, knock somebody out again. Excellent stuff. I love to hear the confidence. So tell us about the last fight. Um, you did manage to get out on a card. It was a MTK card in the pandemic, which was nice. Was it weird not having the fans there? Oh, it was the best thing ever. Like, <laughs> people ask me if I'm looking forward to having the fans back. I said, no. Like, I get booed in for one, and for two fans that are there, and they make so much noise, and it can kind of, dis it can kind of distract you from your work. But just me being there, and there being no fans, it was 100% focus, 100%. I couldn't hear nothing, and it was the best thing ever. I don't mind fighting behind closed doors again. That's really interesting to hear you say that, because I've interviewed probably about, well, people who have fought maybe 20, 25 fighters over the last six months that have been on cards, yeah. and every answer has been it's crap without having fans there. But uh, you are a bit of a Marmite character, you know that, so you've got some fans that give you a bit of grief. So it's interesting to hear. How do you think it will be when you do go back with the fans, though? You'll be accustomed to it still? Same old, same old. But I feel like certain fighters, I feel like they need the fans there because they need the fans to give them that extra buzz. Yeah. But for me, there's never been a buzz. It's all about being smart, cool, calm, collected. But other fighters need that extra, that extra feed that the fans can give them. So um, that's what other fighters might like fans being there. But with me, I prefer them not being there. But if they are there, I hope you get in there. Prove the doubt was wrong, yeah? Exactly. Yeah, good stuff. Well, look, tell us about the actual fight itself. Tyrone McKenna, you, uh, another good win for you. You had on the back of a few others. Guys, 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 guys. Just for the record, there, fans. When, when O'Hara Davis speaks, the rest listen. I like to see that. So tell us about the fight with Tyrone McKenna. It was a good fight and another nice win for you. Yeah, it was a really good fight. Um, I found them quite easy, to be honest. Like, the night before, I slept for about two hours. I remember getting to bed at half twelve, and then I was up at half two, and then um, I couldn't sleep again. So um, I was up from that half two. Um, I was backstage. I, I nearly fell asleep backstage, like a, bit, like a bit before the fight. I nearly fell asleep backstage, and I was just so tired. But the fight was a lot easier than I thought it would be, so I was like, thank goodness, it's an easy night's work for me. Good stuff. And you got the WBC international title as well. Yeah, I've got a WBC international title. I've won that already, so I've got two of them now. Both look, uh, looks good in my trophy cabinet. So It does indeed. Excellent when you've got friends round for a lot of barbecue and stuff like that. You can show it off, right? Exactly. Good stuff. So any idea when you might be back out? You mentioned there'll be something coming soon. Um, hopefully June, July times. Um, I'm ready now. Well, I need, need is five weeks. I can be fight fit in five, six weeks. So, um, you know, I'm just waiting now on an opponent. What belt? Um, who it's going to be with? Deals, so much stuff to sort out. Um, but hopefully, June, July time, so I should be fighting again. Is there any names? I mean, I'll throw a couple of names. I mean, it's still impressive. You've come back with some good wins recently. You've only got the two defeats against Jack Catwalls, who's undefeated, and Josh Taylor. Both of them, I know that you'll wish you didn't lose them, but mate, losing to them ain't no mean feat. The Catwall one in particular, we're very close on a couple um, of the, the scores. The Catwall fight, I don't count it as a loss. So only Taylor's my only loss to Catwall fight. Everyone that was there knows that I won the fight. I know that I won the fight. And so um, Taylor's the only person that I've lost to. So, you know, since our fight, Catwall hasn't done anything. Has he fought since then? He ain't uh, fought since then, has he? He's done, he had one fight, I think, in lockdown. He's done, he he's, he's done absolutely nothing since then. So I don't class him, I, I, don't, I, I don't count that loss, loss as a loss. So it's only Taylor. Would you want to rematch that then? Uh, nah, because it's a fight that I know that I won. I don't need to, I don't need to prove anything. Mm. I know that I won the fight, everyone that was there knows that I won the fight. Everyone that watched it knows that I won the fight, so, you know. The, but the fight that I did lose is a fight that I'd like to, um, I'd like to give that one another go one day. Who was that, sorry? Taylor. You'd like that one again one day, yeah? One day, yeah. Excellent. And any other names that you might fight before him? No one in mind really. Anyone that MTK come up with, I'm like, yeah, cool. Yeah, to me, a fight's a fight as long as I get paid. I don't really care um, who I fight against. You'll just beat who's in front of you. Well, look, we'll, we'll just uh, before we let you go, one little shout out for Josh Taylor. He's obviously got that unification coming up soon. Do you think he's going to beat Ramirez? Um, I've never seen the other guy fight, but looking at their boxing records, Taylor's fought much harder opponents. He's done. Um, He's more known, he's done bigger things, and he'll be coming into this fight as the favourite, so I think he'll win. Yeah, 
I think they put the heating on for you now here because you were moaning it was cold. Oh, it is cold. Freezing, isn't it? It's freezing. Good stuff. Well, look, we're going to let you wrap your hands. I'm going to watch you do a bit of training. Thanks for your time, and we'll catch up with you when you get the fight announced. So, all right. Thank you. All the best, mate. Cheers. Enjoy the video. Feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the Patreon dot com backslash the boxing voice we have tons of exclusive from border wars and title betting shows the list goes on and on and on but in addition to that if you guys have questions for fighters trainers and promoters this is where you can submit them we will run out get these questions answered and put it back on the show just for you guys appreciate it peace